Pit Summit West 2014 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Joining me is Steve Denton, uh, Vice President of Marketing for eBay Enterprise Solutions, the keynote speaker at Affiliate Summit West 2014. Steve's going to join us and answer a few questions about the affiliate space. I was at the very first Affiliate Summit, 200 of us at Baruch University. I would say the show itself has obviously gotten more attention in the sense that you've got larger networks here, you've got larger advertisers here, larger publishers. Look, I think you're not going to find another place where there are 5,400 different advertisers and publishers in one place with content, content experts, folks who uh, can speak as subject matter experts, beginners. They just, where else are you going to go and get that kind of subject matter expertise and quality? So I think if you have a site that has traffic, Right? You have a business model where you get traffic to your site or you have a way to generate demand. Being an affiliate gives you an opportunity to work with quality merchants and advertisers and prove that business model out. And if you can execute on that and drive the right conversion, you're going to make more money as an affiliate than you are through any other type of economic arrangement online as you prove out your business model. So if a, uh, a new affiliate, so you got an affiliate site coming in, and you're looking at a program, or you're looking at a network? Both. Both, so let's start with the program. One, you should find advertisers who have products that match the demographics of the people who visit your site. So you need to understand who are the people that come to your site, and why are they coming to your site? And then once you understand that, what merchants have products that appeal to that type of audience? And that helps you pick out what types of programs, and then you're gonna to wanna to look for things like commission structures that work, product feeds that are clean, the ability to do multi-types of promotions. You're looking for a merchant that's working with you. When you look at a network, I would say two things. One, you're gonna work in a network that's got advertisers that you wanna work with. And then two, from a support standpoint, where can you get network support? Is there a phone number? Is there an email address? Do you have someone you can reach out to if you got problems that need to get resolved? So quality of merchants, quality of network, and quality of support. So if a publisher wants to work with a big box retailer or, or, or a known brand, first thing you have to do is apply to the program, right? And you need to take a look at the terms and conditions of the program and make sure you can abide by those terms and conditions. Because there's a legal agreement you're gonna to have to opt into. And then if you can accept that and they accept you based on the quality of your site. So these merchants are gonna review your site for quality, content, type of traffic that you represent that you're gonna drive. Once you guys get a partnership together, you're going to have to identify ways that you can promote that merchant to drive behavior and activity that that merchant desires. So are they looking for people to sign up for their email list? Are they looking to drive high margin products? Could you get a luxury data feed of products and just promote luxury products? Like how can you drive the types of results that merchant's looking for so that you can differentiate yourself from the other affiliates? But hands down, here's the biggest thing. You want to get their note, if you want to get noticed, drive a ton of volume. They'll pay attention. Sure. So merchants coming in are looking to get involved in affiliate marketing. One, here's what I know. Merchants always do paid search. They always do search optimization, email marketing, retargeting, and affiliate. So you're going to do all of those demand gen type of activities. When you're looking at an affiliate network, you need to understand that you're going to be one of about 5,000 different programs in any given network. So how are you going to stand out in that offer? How are you going to stand out in that category? Why does an affiliate want to work with you? Do you have an offer that is exceptionally good? Do you have products that are, are, are desired by the public? Do you have a unique product that they can't get somewhere else? Like, Why does an affiliate want to commit their traffic to your product? Because think about an affiliate making a sales call. They can only make so many sales calls in a day. And the products they're going to rep are the products they think people will buy and the products that will close. So how are you going to stand out among the competitors in your particular vertical so that you get the attention of an affiliate. And then once you do work with an affiliate, you've got to segment those affiliates like you'd segment your own sales force. Who are your top producers? Who are your core producers? Who are your up and coming producers? Are they in different segments or verticals? Should you have different offers for different types of affiliates? I mean, who would hire a sales force, just give them a piece of sales collateral and say, go sell your 100% commission base and we'll see you next year. You got to manage it like a real channel. Three things, one, take decisions. Like, make a decision. If you're involved in a conversation or you're discussing something, take a decision, take a decision, get an action item to do something right now. 
Because the one thing I know for certain is that time where you're going to have extra time or extra money, the time to do something, that time is now. Like there isn't going to be a time down the road where everything's great. The best time to do something is today. And I tell people, do it now. Well, Steve, I understand you're from New Jersey. Yes. I have one question for you. Do you put ketchup on your hot dogs? I do not. Mustard and sauerkraut only and windmill. Best hot dogs in the state of New Jersey. Spoken like a true New Jersey pro. Thanks, Thanks so Steve. Enjoy.